Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Bliss Studio Hobbies. So for this video, we are going to do a diamond painting post review. Yes, so I have finished another diamond painting. Um, this is the lovely Honeycomb and Flower Bee from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. First, I did want to let you guys know that I am trying out a new microphone from Amazon that I recently just bought because I noticed in some of my videos my voice was going in and out. So hopefully the audio is clear and it's more consistent and not going in and out. So if the audio is not um, good, then it's just the microphone I'm trying out. So there's a disclaimer there. So, all right, let's get into the video. So I do have my diamond painting journal logbook here, but I have not printed out my picture for this kit or filled out my logbook. So I will have to do that at the end. But this is diamond painting number 139. So I have completed 139 diamond paintings to date. And this is my 20th diamond painting for the year. So I do not remember how many diamond paintings I said I wanted to complete this year. I'll have to look back at my video at the beginning of the year and see. But I don't think I'm on track. I think I am way behind because I have not been indulging in a lot of diamond painting. I used to finish four to five kits a month and now I'm averaging like one to two kits a month. So I know I am behind on the amount that I want to complete. But as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. That's enough rambling. Let's get into this wonderful kit. So this kit is Honeycomb and Flower Bee. Like I said, it's a legally licensed kit from Crystal Canvas Art Design. It is a 50 by 50 centimeter square crystal rhinestone diamond painting. Um, 50 by 50 centimeters, which is approximately 20 by 20 inches. Um, I did say it, it was legally licensed from Crystal Canvas Art Designs and the artist is Natalia Zagori. Um, this is a hand rendered um, image here. And it said it has a silk flocked canvas. Now, I do notice that the back of the canvas is super, super soft. And I really did like that. But it said it's silk flocked. And I do feel it does have a silky feel. So I love that. I did look up this canvas before I started my video. That's why I, that's how I saw the silk flocked canvas thing. But it was out of stock. So We'll have to wait until this beautiful canvas is back in stock for you to get it. But nonetheless, I will link it down below so you can check out the website. I was really impressed by this canvas. Um, I have completed one other Crystal Canvas Art Design canvas. And this one uh, really impressed me. And the upgrades are amazing. So let's get into it. I told you the stats. This diamond painting measured 20 measured 20 gosh this diamond painting measured true to size it's a 50 by 50 centimeter this diamond painting is my sweet spot i love the 50 by 50s they fit on my desk perfectly and it doesn't take me that much time to work up diamond paintings of this size i love this diamond painting because there was lots of areas of color blocking i do enjoy color blocking but like this is the largest area of color blocking. So it wasn't like too much color blocking, but it was color blocking nonetheless, which helped <laughs> me zoom through this canvas. All right, so I started this canvas on June 28 of 23, and I completed it on July 11 of 23. So yes, I was able to complete this canvas relatively quickly, less than two weeks. Um, I purchased it February 19th of this year and I received it February 25th of this year. So shipping was pretty quick. Um, like I said, it's hand rendered. The drill field was clear. I had no problems with the drill field at all. These rhinestones were good quality. I had quite a bit of um, trash, but that's typical with rhinestones. They seem to be a little more irregular, especially with that backing that's put on there. So I did have quite a bit of trash, but as you will see, let me get my drills. I had plenty of drills left over. Plenty of drills left over, so the amount of trash did not really matter. I did kit up in my... Um, 
Harbor Freight containers here, which I love. So yeah, I had a lot of each color left over that I can use special drills for other projects, right? And I love that the DMC number is are on these rhinestones, so I could use these in other kits to bling them out a little bit more with rhinestones. So I do like that. So um, this diamond painting, I do not believe it came with the paper legend, so that's why I had to do... Uh, make my own labels for the colors, but that's okay. And as you can see, when I make my own labels, I normally put like the number. I don't know why I, I do this number so that I put them in order, but I do the symbol and then a DMC. And that's how I create my own labels. So yeah, plenty of drills left over. The drills were good quality. I will be able to use these drills in other projects. This was my first time working with a square rhinestone project and I I'm probably going to go back for more I do have another um crystal canvas art designs that I got when I purchased this one and I can't wait to work on it it's a tree it's beautiful I will put the unboxing of this kit in the description box down below so you guys can check it out because I unboxed them both in the same video and they're both beautiful can't wait to get to that one all right so of course there were no bees in this this is a full crystal kit um really enjoyed it my favorite area are the wings of the bee i love the wings look how pretty those wings came out and look at the little bee and of course the flowers that are throughout the kit it's really hard to sometimes see the beautifulness of crystal diamond paintings on camera but all the little flowers i enjoyed working on with the bee and the honeycomb, the stained glass look. I really love that style of artwork. Um, I love that the honeycomb is like stained glass, right? But it's the shape of the honeycomb and it goes well into the stained glass surrounding it. So I really, really love this image. I thought it was really cute. It's not pixelated and it, it's, it, I really like it. I really like it. So I'm gonna post um, the side-by-side -side image of how this is um, painted versus how it's rendered here. So as you can see, um, the rendering is very close to the original image. I really like that. And yeah, I had a good time with this diamond painting. Um, no complaints at all. So here we go. Honeycomb and flower bee. Again, it's a 50 by 50 square crystal drill diamond painting it had 35 colors and it is a full crystal rhinestone diamond painting have you guys tried crystal canvas art designs and completed any of their newer hand rendered stuff they did have an event last month in their group and i initially posted this um picture to participate in the event but I didn't get to this canvas until the 28th of the month so although I did post my start photo I didn't work on it to the last couple of days of the month so I participated but didn't participate if you know what I mean I find myself doing that a lot lately like I'll post my start photo to participate in an event but never work on the canvas I have good intentions though what did you guys um work on for last month and then did you guys participate in this event so yes guys i am going to update my little diamond painting journal logbook here this logbook is also in my etsy shop and it's also in amazon the links will also be down below if you want to track your diamond paintings um i do not believe i'm going to be able to fill up this book this year it's like a hundred something pages, so not gonna be able to fill it up. But I will fill this out, print out my picture on my little sprocket, and that'll be it for this canvas. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm gonna get this filled out. So this is diamond painting number 20. And let's see. Honey, comb, and flower bee. Crystal, 
canvas art design. Natalia Zagori. This is a 50 by 50 centimeter, which is a 20 by 20 inch. This is square crystal or square rhinestone. It's full, 35 colors, and I paid $46 for this diamond painting. And I did write down the date I ordered it to 1923 to 25, 23, uh, 6, 28, 23, 7, 11. Oh, I finished this on the 7, day. Did you guys get your free Slurpees on the 7, 11 day? I did not. Well, there's my entry. I just have to print out my picture and then I will be good to go. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you love diamond painting, crafting, and all things hobbies, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with a friend. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.